We are kicking off our newest series here on KITV4 News this morning, Ryan's Real Hawaii. And in our first installment, we're ex featuring an exclusive new invention that could change the way stand-up paddlers compete in future competitions. Yeah, Ryan really not taking this segment lying down. <laughs> in fact, uh, we put him in the water to find out how he does standing up and how this new tool works. Scott Bucknell, the man behind the invention, is there on the beach. And Scott, we want to ask you, how's Ryan doing out there? Ryan is doing extremely well. He's, he's not a, an accomplished stand-up paddler, meaning he hasn't been doing it for very long, but I can't believe how well he's doing. He hasn't fallen down. It shows that the double paddle is, uh, helps for balance also, but uh, he's doing real well. Let's talk a little bit about the, this invention uh, that you have come up with. You talked a little bit about uh, how it works. What kind of difference do paddlers see between a regular standard uh, paddle and this double paddle? How much of a difference does it make? A few things. First of all, the exercise that uh, it, it produces is phenomenal. We didn't expect that for different muscle groups. And secondly, the board goes through the water straight. You don't have to switch sides all the time. And the paddle just uh, creates a lot of momentum itself because the blade comes in and goes out of the water so quickly, it just slides along by itself. And for those of us uh, that don't uh, do stand-up paddling or haven't done it, that's a, that's a really big paddle. And just hauling that around, uh, if you didn't have those uh, hand grips like that, that would, uh, that would wear someone out? Well, first of all, the, the paddle does come apart and it goes right in the trunk, so it breaks in half. And, and it is it is longer because you're standing five or six feet above the, the board, but it only weighs three pounds and um, it's remarkably light and strong. And uh, you know what it does is it, it just creates a workout in and by itself with uh, creating its own momentum like a windmill. If you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, sure. And uh, Scott, you know, it, it almost looks like you're rowing out there, but it's really different from rowing, especially for your wrists, right? That's, that's what this, uh, the product's called the dynamic rotating grip, and what it does is it eliminates wrist fatigue. Uh, double paddle uh, in and by itself for stand-up doesn't make a lot of sense. It's too cumbersome. But with the dynamic rotating grip, it eliminates the wrist fatigue and just swivels around so that all you have to do is stand there and let the paddle do the work. Now, I know we've got uh, Ryan testing it out. Uh, I'm sure that there's probably a lot of uh, paddle boarders that'll wait to see how it does in, uh, say, a competition, uh, maybe uh, some races. Or is it going to be out there where folks will be able to see it in action? We're going to race it primarily because uh, being raced, people are going to see it. But we're going to let the racers handle what they really want to do with it. We found that it's 100, uh, at 100 yards, it's five seconds faster with the same paddler and the same board, which is significant. But what this thing is meant and designed for is for exercise for the masses. Well, it's Scott, just... I'm so sorry we have to cut you off, but Ryan looks great. You're a great teacher, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a great day. Hello.